Yo, know, every time it says recording in progress, my dick. You would think I'm going to say it gets hard, but it actually retracts just a little bit further in my body because <laughs> the nerves start to hit. It nerves hit and it gets a little cold. <laughs> <laughs> what up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> that time to grab a bag of the stickiest itchy bond you can find and pearl one up welcome to the pearl the podcast Welcome to another edition of the Pearl Up Podcast. Yeah, it's bam, your boy bam, Paulie bam, Primo, and you know it's your homie Jay Buddha. Boo, 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 Buddha. So what's up, bro? What's, what what have you been up to, man? Well, first and foremost, let me answer that with a question. What you smoking on? Ooh, ooh, that's a good question. So check this out. Check what you got? What you got? You this? I do see that. All right, so this is a hemp wrap. Uh, pure hemp or something like that. Okay. Melancholy in it. Melancholy. Melancholy. So it'll Melancholy. just get you, get you down. <laughs> I guess it was like melon, like you know, like cantaloupes and shit. Like blind melon. Blind melon. Yeah. But yeah, that was what's the, inside of it. Melancholy is the. Oh, that's the weed. The, the bud. Yeah. <laughs> saying it's a melancholy rap. No, I was uh, like, it's what sativa. the fuck? <laughs> they it's put a tamamil in that some bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a sativa. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's cool. That's cool. Where it's like you know, you just chilled. <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. What about you, Playboy? Would you pearl up? Man, I I personally have a uh, what they call the horchata mochi. It's uh very good. Works Whoa. very well for my PTSD. Uh, that is, um, how do I put this? It's fucking furry. It's furry weed. It's really good. But inside of the shell, it's your boy's fucking favorite go-to nowadays, the guava camo. Mm. You like those camos, man. That's what's up. You know I what do I put in this. I put a little bit of sugar wax in it. Lemon berry sugar oh. wax. So I'm, I'm. I can taste it. Lemon berry <laughs> sugar wax. <laughs> Fuck, bro. I'm talking summertime. Hear me roar. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I am woman. Hear me roar. Shit. Not to date us or nothing, you know, or to date the podcast, but the weather is changing outside. It's becoming nice. The weather outside is weather. It straight up is. You uh, you got anything planned for summertime? <clears throat> for the summer? Man, it's always summer down here, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I know, man. This motherfucker, yo, you can ride a. This, a listen, I got you can ride a rail like a Cuban refugee at all times. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's very true. <laughs> I got this hat on because in the house we keep it about like sixty eight. <laughs> oh shit! He like, said, "I owe you one." Oh, I'm a little, a little chilly. <laughs> <laughs> a little chilly down there, son of a bitch. That's but you step weird. outside, you sweating. But um, uh, I, nothing hey, crazy planned for the summer. I mean, uh. I mean, honestly, I'm thinking about going to Vegas, man. I would love to go to Las Vegas. I'm thinking about it, Playboy. If I went there, would you would you go to the Bunny Ranch? What would you do in Vegas? What, what do you think? What are you talking about? The Bunny Ranch? Oh, I yeah. know what you're talking about. No, I wouldn't go to the Bunny Ranch. I would. Me and my wife would renew our vows there. What are you talking about? That's cool that y'all would do that. But no, I would <laughs> not go to the Bunny Ranch. You a good Christian boy, ain't you? <laughs> I would not go. <laughs> For those of you <laughs> listening on Spotify, his <laughs> thumbs up right now. <laughs> <You know Bing. laughs> there needs to be a sound. And go, Bing. <laughs> listener on YouTube, watcher, viewer on YouTube, listener on Spotify. I'd like to welcome you into the fold of knowing. He will go to the bunny ranch and he'll fucking he'll fucking like it. <laughs> <laughs> what what what? what? <laughs> I, 
I'll be honest with you. When you're in Vegas, depending on when you go, you should be placing some bets just to let you know. Because I like how July, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> July 20th, bro. The Speak greatest. About it. Speak the about it. fucking greatest. Listen, the greatest have you ever seen the ever movie The it. Great White Hype? You ever seen the movie The Great yep. White Hype? Yep. That is about, that's what's about to happen. You know what I'm saying? Mike Tyson had a little beer belly. Now he's putting fucking pictures and he's got these Electra fucking things Bro, hooked up to his pecs. He's Mike smashing Tyson fucking people. Versus Jake Paul. What? Amazing. On Netflix. Biggest On Netflix. payday. Probably one of the uh, probably one of the biggest paydays in boxing history, I would assume. This is going to this is going to open so many doors for combat sports on on Netflix, like for live streaming on Netflix for pay. That's that's what's going to help that WWE uh, yeah. transition oh, yeah, that to Netflix. The and... Like, yeah, bro, this is now, here's, wow, a lot of money. <laughs> Did you think about this? You know how Jake Paul and Dana White, they have a little, I don't know if it's a big feud, but they have a little back and forth rapport. Okay. Jake Paul can shit all over him now. Oh, bro, you've been around for X amount of years. You ain't never had no fucking Netflix deal to play your shit. Ain't nobody shit on Dana White. You know, you get what I'm saying in terms of business. Like, yo, you you have to understand this has to be a monumental deal for Netflix to pick it up. Because if not, and it's Jake Paul's promotion, like I'm not a Jake Paul fan, but for him and it's his company, and you know he's the one pushing forth with it and setting all this shit and getting everything for Netflix to step in and now be the home of it instead of a paid live event, that has to be astronomical fucking numbers, dude. Yeah. I wonder how much this deal is. That's it's it's gotta be. Good money, good. And not money. only that, it's but Tyson bro. said Tyson, bro. People are like, oh, you know, whatever, whatever. But Mike Tyson was like, yo, if y'all think I'm doing this for the money, like y'all are crazy. He, oh yeah, he he said, yeah I'm gonna retire really. this kid. Yeah, he, he I hope he does. I really he said do. I'm gonna make him go be a tag team partner with his brother. <laughs> I really hope he does, dude. <laughs> you know, because Tyson don't need the money. He doesn't. Not at it. all. Not at all. He doesn't need the. And you know what's fucked up is that people keep saying. Oh well, if if uh fucking Jake Paul wins and he beat up a fifty seven year old man, and if Mike Tyson wins, well then you know it's Mike Tyson. Either way, duh, that's just fucking life. That's just the facts. But the fucking point, the 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 point of it all is, my man is giving Mike fucking Tyson fucking four months and you know that they talked about this before so i would assume that he starts getting hungry again mike tyson you gave mike tyson four months to to stop doing shrooms probably and to fucking get angry and i'll tell you what not only that but i'm sure there's somebody in the back of his head that goes you gonna you gonna let this little white boy pay you to fucking beat you <laughs> mike tyson is no not way. he he you get what i'm saying like no. they're Fucking I'm a fucking play. white dude, straight up blonde hair, blue eyes. You okay, are okay, listener. I see it. You know, you see me, blonde hair, blue <laughs> eyes. All right, listener. But but the fucking fact of the matter is, Mike Tyson was right. Jake Paul is the white boy that white boys hate. I fought, I mean, all day. I just I like the business. I like the fact that he's a he's a heel and he knows how to work it. Personally, I just don't fucking like the guy. He just don't do nothing for me. Right. Um. Is he entertaining? Yes. That's where the buck stops, though. I don't know. Do you agree on that? Or because like Mike Tyson had something to offer. Mike Tyson was the complete fucking package ever since he was like what 18? Mike, yeah, you know what Mike I'm saying? Tyson been a he's been a beast since we known my about Mike Tyson. You know, uh exactly. even even prior to this stuff, when Mike would go and like do little just little things. You know how when he was, you know, the video, he's in like the bar and he's like showing somebody how to like move and stuff like that. And people yeah. are like, yo, look at Mike. Like, he still got it. When he fought, uh, what's my man's name? Um, Roy Jones. Roy, oh, in that, I was in that say, fight. In the, not too long ago, Roy yeah. jo- the, his last fight, Roy Jones. Yeah. yeah. Like Mike looked crazy good. Yeah. Fuck yeah. He's not going to take this lightly. There's no, I don't think Mike Tyson goes into a fight going, oh, it's it's just some some punk kid. Like he doesn't take fighting lightly. 
That's what I'm saying. And you're giving he, him four months to to tr- to retrain his mind. I remember him saying in the interview or something like, "I'm I go to a different place. Like I go to a dark place when I fight. Like he's a fucking animal when he wants to me be. against you. It's you're trying to kill me, so I'm gonna kill you. Take your fucking head off, dude. Hey, yeah. And if and if Jake Paul doesn't think he, I mean. I don't know if they've released like the rules for it or whatnot yet. I don't think they have, but I'm sure Jake's going to push for no headshots. <laughs> <clears throat> the last I heard was that, you know, at this point, I guess it's an exhibition bout, but they're trying to get Texas to push and approve it to be a sanctioned fucking professional fight and professional fight. Ooh. And if it is, Good night. Like, yo, I'll tell Goodnight. you what though. My <laughs> man's my man's cut. Like Jake Paul, he's cut. But you just you don't he can here's box what it is. I don't care what nobody he, says. Paul yeah, no, box. he can box. No, straight up. But he doesn't have that hunger. The hunger that he has is different than the hunger Mike Tyson has. Mike right. Tyson has the hunger of an animal. He, he struggled has the hunger to of a guy that goes, I want to he, he's accepted. the guy that goes, I want to do that. Yeah, you know what I'm I saying. Want, I want to do that. I want I, to be accepted. I, I, I'm hungry. Mike Tyson and, you know, has the hunger I, of like I had to do that. I have I to had survive. To do that. Yeah, you yeah. Know I mean, bro. like that's that's what the fuck. You know, it's, it, it's exciting. It's like time. when is it? July. I was what? born. You you merely you merely <laughs> adapted to the darkness. I was born. Merely into adapted it. to the darkness. <laughs> I was born into it. Nah. You know what I mean? It's fuck. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, dude. When is it again? July what? July 20th, bro. 20th. Whew. I can't Ooh. wait. I really can't. I think, I, honestly, I think June, May, June is like when my older brother was talking, my, my brother Corey was right. talking about going there. I, we wanted to do it in April, but the way my bank account set up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. But yeah, so you know, push it back a little bit. Maybe I don't know if I get out there. I, hey, I'm a, I'm a bet on the fight anyway. You know, make sure y'all comment right now, leave who Paul. you think gonna win. <laughs> Yo, they said Jake Paul is going the fucking favorite right now to win. I know. What the fuck but is that's, that? That's, that's been, see, but are, that's because people people are so used to them like rigging shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, stipulation wise. Oh, can't do this. Like I don't care what nobody says. Listen, I'm no boxing guy, and I get it that. Motherfuckers lean on each other and put their weight down and tire each other out. But listen, hey man, yeah, um, Logan Paul was held up by Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Right. I don't think Mike Tyson gonna hold him up. I think <laughs> fuck no. He, Mike Tyson doesn't need the money, doesn't need the endorsements, he doesn't need the clout, he doesn't need the paper chase. He he doesn't need any fucking thing. All he needs to do is Yo, he's going to fuck him in his ass and make him humble. And if not, and if not, then I will actually say, you know what? Listen, if Mike Tyson doesn't come out like a complete fucking animal out of the straight out of the gate, like how he always has. Then it's the fight set up. You're right. It's, rigged. It's, rigged. You're right. It's, rigged. it's scripted. You're absolutely right. Bro. Right. But if you don't come you know, out just crazy mentality, it's rigged. <laughs> And it's just fuck. It, it's not fucked up, but like it's it's crazy, right? Like people are gonna say, "Well, Roy Jones Jr. He didn't come out of the gate like that." Those are two guys past their prime, so to speak. They knew what it was. That was an exhibition. And they knew what it was. That was, was an exhibition uh, bout. Yeah, that was but just the, uh, let's put on a little show. Nobody's trying to get hurt. Let's get some money. And but at the end of the day, and it was prior wise. But it was before Mike he Tyson had uh, real quick. Is not gonna movie. let. And beat him. He's not. No, but that bout with Roy Jones that was before his cannabis farm and everything, right? You know what I mean. So I mean, with that, he had a whole nother resurgence of like income from yeah, the cannabis sure. industry. So like he before that he needed something. You know what I'm saying? He had to get his name out there more, or you know, get that little bag that he got from it. But even still, in in that respect, he he should have came out hungrier in that fight. You know what I mean? My point was, 
but it's too many. There was a mutual respect, right? Uh, they I both knew what it was. You say where, yeah, like, Yo. whereas with this fight, he's not gonna let some young ass fucking white kid fucking beat him. He's just, oh. it's just the mentality <laughs> wise. You get what yeah. I'm saying? It, it's and it's and it really like you know people in this. It's 2024. It's not about black and white. It's not about that, but it is. He I mean, the mentality wise of him getting back into the beast mode. He's 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 gonna say I'm really gonna let this like 29 year old fucking little white kid beat me. I'm Mike fucking Tyson, right? Because Mike he even said Tyson. he's like, yo, we should all think. You know, even listening to hot boxing with Mike Tyson, we should all think we're gods. We should all, you know, we you should acknowledge the fucking person. You should be humble, but you should think of the highest ability of yourself. And when Mike Tyson's prime, whether he was off the fucking chin and or off the uh, chain and unhinged or not, at his prime, those were his uh, idealisms. And at your root, you only are you go back to your idealisms. He's not gonna let this fucking kid beat his ass. Not He's not all. gonna let this kid win. It, it might, and you know what? And I, and I even feel blasphemous for saying it might came, it might come down to a split decision. But he's not gonna let this kid win. He, Jake Paul, might be tougher than anybody in the world gives ever gives him credit for. But he's not gonna win the fight because it's like a, it's gonna be a win win. You know what I'm saying? It goes regardless, it's be a win win. Regardless, they're he goes. Gonna I get fought paid. Mike Tyson. Yeah, they're both gonna get paid extremely well. Mm-hmm. Jake Paul's gonna be. Hey, I got to bring Mike Tyson out of retirement. That no one's ever done. Yep. There's been offers to f- people to fight Mike Tyson. Yeah, oh, of course. Jake Paul's the first one to actually bring him out of retirement. And if he loses, if Jake Paul loses, it's yo, you you stood toe to toe with Mike Tyson. There it is. If he and if he loses but goes the distance, holy shit, the respect level he'll get, Rocky. Yeah. It, the respect level and everything, bro. And then if he wins by some, you know, in my mind, some miracle, if he wins, holy shit. That's crazy. Which I don't think is going to happen, but I just don't see it. I just don't, you know, and but here's the thing. I'm not a gambling man. Any fucking time I've ever placed a bet ever, I've lost. I can attest to that. I fucking lost <laughs> every fucking bet I've ever placed. <laughs> I I might be like, hey, I'm gonna go do my own thing, and I'll be right about a lot of shit. But anytime, y'all it, said, listen, y'all heard it here. Whoever Primo bets on, just bet the opposite. <laughs> there it is. So listen, I'm going Mike Tyson. So all you all you Jake Paul fans out there, what up? What up? Nah, man. I'm going. Listen, I'm going. My man, Yo, I don't like that you're picking Mike, Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's fucked up. I don't Sorry, like that listen, you're him, bro. Mike, Mike, if you're listening down the road by some chance, make this the miracle that happened. I, make this the miracle that happened, dog. 34th Street. <laughs> My God, beat his fucking it's clobbering time, dude. Yo, I want to insert clip of when he was yelling at that reporter, whoever it was. I fuck you in your ass. I fuck right? you in your ass. <laughs> I fuck you in your ass, make you humble. Fucking, he said, I'll fucking, I'll fucking murder you. I'm Bro, fucking speaking, murder of, you. speaking of, uh, not to, you know, just sh- abruptly switch it, but speaking of like <laughs> fucking in your ass, uh, oh. I, I gotta bring this up because it's, it's, it's a hot topic. Let's go. Your boy, bro. What's up with Diddy? Oh, I was gonna say R. Kelly. <laughs> I was about to say when I say your boy, time, what do you want me to say? <laughs> like, that's who you. When I say, "Hey, what's up with your boy?" You're like R. Kelly's doing his time. <laughs> well, because you said like I believe I can fly, and, and you was like, "Hey, dog." I was like, "Listen, Michael Jackson was a fucking free man too." R. Kelly needs to be Jeffrey Epstein is his soul time. free now. He served his time. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Harvey Weinstein went home a free man. What's good? Let's Jeez. like what's what's up? Let's talk about it. Let's talk <laughs> yeah, about, let's talk about it. Like, How listen, you feel about I Diddy? believe I can't fly. Did he do why did he it? did he do why did, did, did he, he do, do it? it? <laughs> well, let's break down the facts. Let me hear him. Here's fact number one. Diddy shot some bitch in the nose at a nightclub mm. and got somebody else to say they did it, okay? Damn, that's true. <laughs> you remember that? Fact, fact number two. 
Hey, Shine, listen, did his time, came home, and no one gave a fuck. <clears throat> Get that man another deal, bro. That's fucked up. Fact number two, right? Diddy is now the only still alive and not behind bars person, not including Snoop Dogg, because he's just a whole nother level of a person now. But he's the only person that's not behind fucking bars that had something to do with killing Tupac and Biggie. You know what I'm saying? Damn. And then, third but not least, at least in my opinion, my humble opinion. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. <clears throat> he doesn't he doesn't really value human talent, although he likes to think he has a lot and he has a knack for seeing it and finding it and profit, exploiting like it. See profit. Yes. And that's yes. what he seeks out. But, but he just like the thing with the cheesecake. You know, I there was a time when I used to be like, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. If you want that record fucking label, go get that cheesecake. But you know what? Fuck's I got to do with doing record label. Tell me to fucking tell me to write a fucking uh a a, a fucking a, a rap that, look, that has to reach fucking 12 miles long or some shit. On you know some G shit about that, because uh, I was just talking about this with somebody the other day with the cheesecake thing. That's yeah. on the same level, like of of the grading of like, how far will you go for this? You want this record contract? All right, go go walk, not take an mm-hmm. Uber or a cab or nothing. They go had no walk. Ubers back then. I'm I'm saying though, you could call a yellow <laughs> cab. Day, somebody pulled up and said, "Hey, get in. I'm your ride." You be like, "Who the fuck, the fuck out of here?" <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but I'm saying like you could easily. You want to go to an uptown, and especially in New York, cab. You know what I'm saying? Hit the subway, whatever. Right, but true. no, you got to walk. How bad do you want it? You want blisters on your feet, whatever, whatever. But on that same coin, in an office space, how bad do you want it? Like if when the contract's in front of you, how bad do you want it? Zip. It's the same thing. Are you willing to do whatever it takes? Which is crazy. okay. All right. That's in- why. That's why I'm like, yeah, that motherfucker did it. <laughs> Would you? Would you have walked and get the, get that cheesecake? Uh, considering it was a TV show, yeah, I would have because it, you know, okay. I would have been one now because on the if I was on the show, I would have definitely been. Yeah, and you already know we've been eager artists. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I've done Let free shows this. in New York. I've done free shows in Atlanta. I've done free shows. <laughs> Exposure, right? Now, same level. Okay, at least to me, this feels like same level. Okay. Okay. Let's say hypothetically, it took them. How long did it take them to, to do that round trip? It was like what four or five hours. Bro, right? yeah, walking from Brooklyn to Manhattan, that's a while over the bridge. Like, yeah, that's crazy. So, yeah, let's say it took them four or five hours. Let's say yeah. it took four, four or five hours, right? Let's even go four hours, right? Okay. Just because we don't know, right? In that four hours, now he said, or you go give me my fucking cheesecake. Or right now, sit there on all fours and make a human table and let me eat a piece of cheesecake off your back. And it take me 10 minutes. Which one are you doing? Well, either way, <laughs> e- 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 either way, you have to do something. And they're both degrading. Now, now it comes down to how the which one's gonna and- make better TV, you know? <laughs> look, look, look check this out. I'm, call me IKEA. <laughs> Listen, I'm fat, man. <laughs> How long is it gonna take to eat? Cause my knees hurt. <laughs> I just I would just stand there in a girl push up position and be like, do what you gotta do. <laughs> you gotta do. <laughs> hey man. Yo, <laughs> yo, you would have your you ass see? in the air. <laughs> did you see your boy Dylon that's been hot fire say that that yeah, skit man. ruined his fucking life, dude? Yeah. Are you, what? Yo, you know what ruined your life? He said Walking fuck Dave Chappelle, cheesecake. bro. He said fuck yeah. Dave Chappelle. Like, are you serious? Oh, he got hitters. He got hitters. He already, mm, it's going. But look, Somebody going to walk up with a fanny pack and pull one out. <laughs> blick, blick, blick. Nah, nah. We, you know, hey, that's not, we don't. Bro, the podcast. I'm not saying I, I am. <laughs> we don't promote violence here on Spotify and YouTube. But <laughs> all I'm saying. But look, but look, here's one thing about that is I thought that was very funny. And when he was like, he was like, I spit hot fire. He goes, I didn't even say that. 
fucking love it. Because people, I guess people come up to him and they're like, yeah, Dylan, I spit on fire. He's like, that's not me. <laughs> I rip it, I rhyme. I yeah. rhyme and I rip. <laughs> like no one knows uh, him. Bro, that's fucked up because no one knows him. No one comes up and goes, oh shit, Dylan from Diddy making it a band. I'll tell you what, listen, bro, listen, <laughs> all jokes aside, right now, right now, all bullshit, gun to your wife's head right now. Fuck. I, I need one Dylon verse right now. Gun to your wife. No, right, gun to your ready? son's head right now. All right, here we go. Oh, baby, no. 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 Oh, rum pum ting. Oh, rum ting. Oh, rum pum ting. I rip and I rhyme. I rhyme and I rip. This is the words that Dylon spits. Oh my God. Dude. <laughs> yep, that, my whole it. family dead. <laughs> Damn it, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> I look at my wife and give her one of these. Look, if somebody came and did that to me, put a like straight up, put put a gun right to my wife's head and said, Motherfucker, you got one chance, one opportunity. Do not fuck it up. Don't miss your chance. Say a fucking Dylon. From the lyric. band's verse one right lyric. now, I'd go. One I'd go like this. I'd go. I'd go. Babe, listen. I you swear to God, I, I loved you. You know I fucking loved you. <laughs> you know. I, you know I loved you. Don't you say I? Yeah, it's past tense. I loved you. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she. I mean, you know I loved you. You know I did. <laughs> you know I did. I. I don't fucking know. I'll always means... remember you. <laughs> and what's fucked up? What's fucked up is I even <laughs> listen. I watched that. Show I couldn't too, tell man. you. Me too. Who the fuck didn't watch the band, bro? Chopper, get the come on, come on. Listen, listen. All I'm saying is, Dylon was so eerie, or, or excuse me, so uh, you know, fucking un or, or forgettable and interchangeable that I even remember John Brown from the White Rapper show. His freestyle about the peanut butter and jelly rims a little better than that fucking guy's verse. <laughs> That's fucked Damn. up. <laughs> <laughs> they was in the ice chamber. Remember, they had to go toe to toe, and he was like, Oh, I forgot something about with that the show. peanut butter and jelly rims. And I was like, Oh, that's pretty cool. Because <laughs> like, I could just imagine them spinning together. Like, that'd be cool. <laughs> like, I don't know. Dylon, though. I, at least, yo, now if they came up, same situation was like, say the same thing about John Brown. I'd be like, oh, does that count? <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, okay, you got it. <laughs> I mean, either say a lyric from Dylon or a lyric from John Brown. <laughs> like, I got it. <laughs> yo, on, on that same note, if someone did, like, can you recite a whole song from somebody else? Yeah. Is there okay. some, one song like what? What's one song go to song that if you were doing like karaoke, they were like you got to do death karaoke. You gonna you gotta say the whole song. What's the one song? Um, you do uh, <laughs> Hotel my... California by the the Eagles or whatever. Really I'm along the lost my highway. He's the Omaha. <laughs> Yo, I can do For a real. That's the I, now. Here's the thing. I, Wait, is I that, that even it? Or, or is that fucking turn the page? Wait, I don't know. I think I might be turn the page. <laughs> I might be thinking about the fucking <laughs> he, <laughs> the reboot did. by Metallica. <laughs> he did. Yeah. I don't know. Because I have mine. I know, like. Somebody's uh, like one song, like you can't. Damn, I honestly can't don't know. Why, who, who's lyrics. your who? Who is yours? Project Pat Chickenhead. Is, is that it? Is that is, is that he just said it the whole time? That's the that's that's the song I can sing. Like if they're like, yep, you got to do karaoke, no lyrics coming up on the screen, acapella, or you dead. That's the song I'm picking. Damn, dude. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Hey man, listen. You give me, you give me, you give me fucking tag team. Whoop! There it is. <laughs> party on, party people. Let me hear some noise. DC's in the house. Jump, jump. What do you say? Party over here. A party over there. He, what do he say? Oh, boom! Oh, I'm dead. No, bro. You know what? What am I talking about? Montel Jordans. This is how we do it. Right fucking now. Boom. Yo, no. I don't, I don't even know what what took me so long to even think of that. 
My dog. Yeah, what? I know you can do the whole thing. You man. know I can. That yo, for real. <laughs> number seven. Ever since it was number seven on Jock Jams, volume <laughs> one. That has been my fucking jam, dude. Shout Literally, out I was jam. no jock. <laughs> Shout out MTV Jock Jams, volume one. Go check it out now. It's it, go check it out at the store, the wall. <laughs> at the store, the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that shit. If you got the blue sticker, you can get it back. <laughs> People are listening right now, going, "Holy shit!" And he was talking about Circus <laughs> City last time. Now we're talking about the wall. What the fuck's up with this guy? What year did this come out? <laughs> but you know what's fucked up though. Back to the um, back to the question at hand. Yeah, I think Diddy be fucking. I think he nasty. <laughs> like, I think he nasty. Like I'm nasty, but I think he nasty. You know why? I, I I'll tell you why. Because. I think me and him are probably a lot alike in a hundred percent in a lot of ways. Only difference is, and hey, don't don't kill the messenger. Don't say hundred percent. Just no, okay, hundred percent okay. of the time, y'all probably the same, like seventy five percent. Okay, ninety five, ninety mm, sixty four point three percent of the time, well, my, I bet me and Diddy's mind state are the same. And don't kill the messenger, but. You know, the only difference between how nasty I get and how he's nasty is because he be doing that shit with boys and shit. Too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, listen. You know what I mean? Not that there's anything wrong with that for him. I mean, it sounds like it was wrong for a lot of the guys involved. I think it's when you use your power, like you use your uh, power of influence. Your, you know, like the position power, of power, position like 50 Cent power. song. What if yeah. it was put on the 50 Cent song? Yo, listen. What if. <laughs> What if, what if I hate to say this, but what if Biggie wouldn't blow him? And that's why, like, he, you know, he was like, hey, he gotta go. He gotta fucking go. Motherfuckers used to call him cross-eyed Chris before I fucked him up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> before I hooked him up with the fucking Big Mac sample with your boy. You know, hey, he's a like, call yeah. cross-eyed Chris. And he, he would, yo, ain't hey, no disrespect Biggie like that. <laughs> I ain't disrespect <laughs> nobody. I'm just, I'm just saying how what, what, a, what Diddy thought. You know, I I'm think saying? it took a little like, while before Diddy got to this position of power. Fuck no, dude. When he was an intern, where was the intern at? Wherever the fuck it was. No, he was probably he probably got he, got he. he when soon he was as intern, he, oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Because that's what oh happened. man, I was gonna say he cycle. used that position and like ran with it, but but it's a vicious. Oh cycle. yeah, they probably no. was like come here. That's why they call it a secret society. They was like, yo, yo, the cute one with the waves in his hair. <laughs> <laughs> and the dolphin teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, hey, yo. <laughs> he said, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I was going to say, he said, he said, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> fucking back up and shit. <laughs> he backing up. Ah. <laughs> That's what he was saying when he was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. He was like, "That's back. That's back when the day when they used to let hammer slide." You know what I'm saying? Everything, everything sexual. Oh, tuned in the Pearl Dub podcast. It's all Illuminati, bro. It's all Illuminati, yo. yo maybe, maybe cool. Diddy. Yo, you know what's crazy is that everybody was like, like even even my wife. My wife loved it, right? It was like, oh my god, you could see us naked at that fucking award show. You know what I mean? And he was walking around. He had like yeah. a little sign that said costume designer. And he was like yeah. ass naked. <clears throat> I read something online. The line, it was like, that's his Illuminati fucking oh, yeah, that's uh, his, uh, naked uh, ritual inter introduction. Like yeah, that. his naked ritual. He has yeah. to be embarrassed. And I was like, Listen, man, don't uh, give I don't know, man. That's John Cena. Like, he don't, don't give, give a fuck. He does. You know what I'm saying? That's he Illuminati. Wants, he wants the next role. Illuminati? Oh, my God. What? But, yo, what, what do you think about... What do you think about Diddy? Do you think that he fucking did it? Or do you think that everybody should... Listen, there's a reason why 50 talks shit. Listen, I think... I think Diddy did it. Did he do it? He did it. And did I hope, he do I it? He yes, he did. Do it to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know, man. You got some cats out there like, like Meek Mills that's like... Like, did he? There's no way he did he did it to Meek Mill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's when I hear stuff like this. This stuff blows my mind because I'm like, yo, yeah, what? You, you, what, what you 
correct me if I'm wrong, but what you mean to say is I used to dream of top like this rhyme like that. He he did he did it to the version of Meek Mills that I have in my head. Oh shit, man! Stop blowing my <laughs> mind, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? That's what Damn. I even think. Like, dude, oh my god, not the version of Meek Mills that I think about. Right. But like, you know, hey, what like is it's gonna be a stupid question because I should notice <laughs> I live outside of Philly type deal. Um, very close. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I see y'all. Um, it's his real <laughs> just name, a stupid Mills. joke that popped in my head. Uh, his 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 series of mixtapes was called Flamers. <laughs> Bad joke. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You said is yo, his real name Mills or Meek? Is his real name Meek Mills? I I, I mean I know that might be stupid, but this is like you know M I L L S. You know what I'm saying? Like, is it is his name like? Oh, well, it's not uh, S. It's Meek Mills. Uh, Meek Mill is is his name. Not everyone always puts an S on it, but it's well, you know what? I'm one of them people because it's Meek Mills. <laughs> I don't care what you say, it's Meek Mills right there. <laughs> nah, his name is uh Robert Rameek okay. Williams. Meek. So, okay, and Williams will. Meek yeah. Mills. Wills. Will Mills. Well, he probably wanted he he Meek Rameek. So and then he wants yeah. money, Mill, you Meek know. Mills. So he's making his money on the low. Or he's creeping on the low, making money doing it. Ew. Just go backwards <laughs> with it. Just go backwards with it. Millions meekly. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, bro. Meek Mill just put out a freestyle, right? <laughs> and he danced up to the microphone. And bro, <laughs> the, comments, the comments lit him up. Up, uh, they said I would be. I know my man's didn't just diddy bop to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. All I'm saying is Wu Tang told y'all protect your neck, okay? You got at all times <laughs> protect your neck. <laughs> That's it. Just protect your. He told y'all flat out. There's a reason why he don't go to the white parties. Just wild stuff. Listen. Man. That's why they call you know it what? secret society. People and it's like people call you a conspiracy theorist when when all these things happen, but a secret society is secret for a reason, right? But maybe it's mm-hmm. a secret society because they keep secrets. Yes. Now, what are those secrets? It's big businessmen who are like, "Oh, you want the the CFO position? How bad do you want that position? Are you willing to be inducted into this secret society?" You want to be a fucking movie star, don't you? You want to be a movie star that makes a couple hundred thousand a year, or you want to be a movie star that makes millions of dollars? You ever heard of Brad Pitt? No. Nah, have you ever heard of <laughs> Have you ever heard of Charlene Washington? Nope. <laughs> you know have you saying? ever heard of Gerard Johnson? No. These are. <laughs> you heard of Gerard Butler? There it is. You get what I'm saying? There it is. You know, yo, you know what's we're just up. we're just joshing over here. We're just joshing. I ain't joshing you know, nothing. No. <laughs> I ain't joshing nothing. I'm listening. This is this is not. This I am not a financial talk. advisor. I am not a financial advisor. These are not financial <laughs> tips. Hey, I'm not a financial <laughs> advisor. <laughs> buy, 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 sell, 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 <laughs> <laughs> sell, sell everything, buy it all again. But did you hear? Because I just want you to know this, all this shit would be great. But word on the street is my boy. I don't know if you remember, I went to a fucking sneaker con. I met my boy Donnie T there, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to get into it, right? Yeah, well, it. watch the preview. I'm not trying to do, so y'all know what it is. Yeah. I'm not trying to do no insider trading. Again, this is not financial advice. And I'm not trying to do no fucking financial insider trading. Well, the podcast does not condone. The financial exchange of any corporation, right? <laughs> exactly. But word on the street is get a VPN this week from Amazon. Okay. Okay. Because they're banning TikTok. And I already hear through the grapevine that you, if you're in what they call Texas right now, Texas. Okay. You cannot access what they call Pornhub.com. What? Yeah, that's a real. That's a that's a primo fact. I just heard 
outside people start booing. That's crazy. That's, that's a fact. <laughs> you just got hit with crazy. a pre- fact. Beep, 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 TikTok's beep. being banned. Get a VPN. If you if you live in Texas, <clears throat> you already know you cannot jerk off right now. Google it. Google it, bro. My man, yo, Jay Buddha is laughing right now. I'm just saying the way at you- the <laughs> at the real life situations going on that are being bestowed upon our fellow American citizens. Please here. Listen, let, let me, let me screen share with you. Let me see. (laughs) Oh, there you go. There you go. I screen. I I let you screen share the thing. Bada boom, bada bing. Whoa. I was kind of nervous when I, when I, when I, uh, (laughs) when I, um, search this, try to tell you, listen, listen, we talked about protect your neck. Now we're talking about protect your deck. You know what I mean? Um, if you're in Look Texas, right here, there it is. There it is. They listen. All I'm saying is, I know people in Texas who are already going limp. You get what I'm saying? Like this is crazy. <laughs> They're limping around. They're real fucked up in the game right now. Um, it's crazy. Pornhub. It says Pornhub blocks access in Texas. Yeah, it's dude. Dispute over age verification <laughs> law. Yeah, because people are saying like, oh, you know, hey, if you go to Pornhub, you should have to prove you're 18. And and Pornhub's pretty much saying, well, you know what? Why don't you regulate your fucking kids, dog? Okay, okay. The law requires online pornography distribution distributors to first use age verification methods to ensure that all users are 18 or older. Okay, that's cool. So what what's the problem? Texas has a right to protect its children from the detrimental effects of pornography pornographic content. So wait, I thought all porn sites said like, "Hey, are you eight you got to be 18 years or older?" Nah, bro, I don't believe that Pornhub does that. Oh. You know what I'm saying? But don't you just click OK? Like, I... no, you just you click on dot com and then you click a video. I'm just saying, like, if it says, are you 18 or older? Don't you just go? Yes. <laughs> oh, like... yeah. No matter what you're going to hit. Yeah. Listen, when I was listen, this is a this is a this is a premium. Remember when you started when, when I was 16... on Christian Mingle dot com, it said, are you a Christian? Yep. You said, yeah, yep. It, it I remember that verbatim. It literally said, do you want to see the girl's ankles? <laughs> Are you know, and I was like, oh, oh, oh yes. So everybody that was <laughs> fucking 23 and older, I got to see their ankles, and it was amazing. But they were all like 40 years older than that. But it was cool. There was like the same reoccurring four women. I didn't know they could just cool. block regions and shit. Listen, they can that's block crazy. you right now. Get a VPN, VPN, VPN. It'll make it look like you're in Switzerland. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And if you get a VPN, just, you know, this is also a Buddha fact. You could get uh, other Netflix channels and stuff like that. Now, that's fucking true. But I'll tell you this. Uh, <laughs> how do you feel about TikTok being banned? Uh, Donnie T told me. He was like, yo, if you want TikTok, if, do you know why I it's feel being like uh, that People say it's detrimental to kids because it just shows, like, stupid stuff or, you know, whatever, whatever. It's an American um, company. Too much foreign influence. I'm just saying, get a get a hold of your, of your kids, man. Get a hold of your kids, like get a hold of your media. Talk okay. to your kids. Be cool with your kids again. Like I don't know, people don't talk to their kids no more. People don't. People they they just go to school, they learn stuff at school, and then they come home and they don't want to talk to you. Right? That's true. Talk to your kids. You know, get them into stuff. Be cool with your kids. Don't just be assholes to them. That's why they're on TikTok. That's why they're getting all this content or, or want us knowledge from other places because you're not giving it to them as a parent. Talk to them. If you talk, that's to fucked them, up. Like yeah, but I'm saying like all they want to do is dance and be like, uh, 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 like because you're not there with them. 
And it sucks because we got to work and shit, but man, at least talk to them, yo. Have dinner with them. You know, see what that's what I'm saying. They like dancing, put them in dance so they're not so engulfed in TikTok. But (laughs) I don't think TikTok's a bad thing. I got a short attention span. So, you know, scrolling is like second nature now. Do you remember? Remember how scrolling never stopped? Remember when it used to stop? Yeah. And you'd be like, all right, I'm done. You've reached the end. <laughs> Refresh. And you'd be like, oh, oh, it's different. But I'm, I'm, I already seen all this. Now it's just like infinite. Infinite. I'll pull from every database there is. I will, <clears throat> excuse me. I will pull every complete data that you transmit and throw it back. I don't know, man. This is just like it's getting into the realm of like censorship, like internet well, censorship, and that's that's concerning to me. If you could go to any other co- or co- company, I mean, pretty much, if you could go to any other country, you know, yeah. where would where I would go? go? Like, oh. le- like, like relocate, not vacation. I would go to. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about when you go to fucking you know Los, uh, you know, country of Las Vegas. <laughs> I'm talking about like you know a different country, maybe maybe not in the other country that we're in. I don't know, man. I, I love America. America's great. I love what are you talking about? It's just how it's ran is is is, is crazy. It's getting getting wild. I love America, USA number one, always. But it's a little fucked up. Yeah, it's man. just the world's fucked up too, though. So it's like. I definitely want to be here. But like, man, we can do so much better. That's fucked up. Like. Nah. I'll tell you what. You know who from your childhood. I'm going to leave with this. You know from your childhood who I fuck. (laughs) Who? (laughs) (sighs) Yo, the the bitch who be playing Tommy Pickles, the bitch who sings the theme song to Two and a Half Men. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I she was a up. she was a Powerpuff girl. I don't know E. G. Daly. She hot. She a sexy little bitch. Watch, go to. She got these videos. Click one of her videos. Watch. My dog is infatuated. Wait a second. Wait. And I. These videos are. Cr- wow, man. Wow. No, I didn't say they were fucking sexy. I didn't say wow, she was. These videos I didn't so say cool. she's hot. I didn't say they were fucking provocative. Ray, go down. Go down. Right there. Wait, go down. Go down. Which one? Right there. With the two bitches. I think that's. Uh, that's. I think that's. Uh, all the, I saw the Powerpuff girl. I feel better already. Oh, wait. No. Oh, yeah. See? I feel better already. I think I think one of them is like uh, she oh, was man, with I the Powerpuff Girls and shit. Have no, so she couldn't say that while we like. What she's talk like that when you're fucking? Oh, get out! Yeah, I'd be like, I'd be like, uh, you're you, a wild dude. I'd, I'd be like, you you could do uh, you could do uh, uh what's Ooh. her name? Fucking the 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 one fucking the Powerpuff chick. But you can't be doing no Tommy Pickles, Everybody bitch. Everybody told me that I sound like CG5. Probably because... You sound like... No, that's that's not her. <laughs> that, that's her. Yo, yo, she did the... Uh... Show them how crazy you are. I don't want to... Stop being so fucking nice and show them how crazy you are. I don't want to... Yeah. It's, it's, uh, okay. Yeah. Fuck that bitch. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey man, y'all go follow EG Daily at, at real EG Daily on Instagram. She's cool. Yeah, she's yeah. Hey, you know, I give her a thumbs up, a thumbs down now. Give her a thumbs down. Damn. Nope. <laughs> you nope. shout her I'm, I'm giving her an unfollow now because <laughs> because the videos videos were not they nope. weren't even as good as Product I thought podcast they were. promotes women in the workplace. <laughs> They're where? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> They're where? Yeah, yeah. 
that's happening. This is 1924, my friend. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, that's um. Listen on that. Listen on that note. Y'all have been great. You've li- I'm your boy Jay Buddha. You I'm already your boy Paulie Primo, and yeah, you already know the Pearled Up Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share all that good stuff. Spotify, YouTube, ba 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 ba. We out with this. Yeah, man. Peace.